This problem, we're going to compute an average rate of change. So we need the formula for that. And that is f of x2 minus f of x1 over x2 minus x1. All right. What mistake did I already make? I assumed it was average rate of change of f, but it's g in this problem. So let's go ahead and put the right function in here. This table has values for f and g, but we're asked about the g function. So let's go ahead and cross out all the f. Now we're going from four to eight. X one is four, X two is eight. So we have four and eight right here. And if you want, you can cross out the rest of this table. So we're just looking at the right values and not additional values. Okay, now we see exactly what we need here. Uh, again, not the F function, the G function. We need G of four and that is Here's the input and here's the output. So g of four is five and g of eight is two right there. So we're ready to plug all these values into the average rate of change. So let's go with the denominator first, x2. So I'm doing that, x2 minus x, should be x2 minus x1. So x2 is eight, x1 is four. And in the numerator, g of eight is two minus g of four is five. Two minus five, negative three. Eight minus four is four. And I'm just gonna leave it as three fourths. You don't need to turn this into a decimal. Negative three fourths, not positive three fourths. And let's go ahead and uncover the answer and that negative 0 0.75 is the decimal for negative three fourths. So just be careful, read your function correctly. And the big mistake I see is swapping x1 and x2. Uh, as long as you swap it in the numerator and denominator, you're okay. But I recommend just leave it like this right here. And so put your x2 first and your x1 second.